The one that was always sitting around the house that I'm pictured with at like six months old was a Steinberger Honer GH2, like one of those weird headstockless guitars. And there's an early picture of me as like a baby, my dad like propped it across my lap. So I guess that was like the, it was destined to be. I don't own the most in the band, it's definitely Corey. I think Corey's got like 60 or 70 guitars. I think I'm around like 20, 30-ish. It's just the Gibsons. I unfortunately had to sell off a lot of my other guitars like during a slump when we weren't on tour years back when we were first kind of starting off to pay rent. So that sucked. I had to have to get rid of a lot of guitars that I liked. My favorite guitar is the one I got when I was about 11 or 12. It was a Gibson Les Paul Custom, which is a pretty absurd guitar to get as an 11 year old. But that's the one that was the basis of my signature Epiphone. That's the one that we recorded like all our classic records on. We were for some stupid reason going into an ACDC cover part, which we never do <laughs> during one of our sets. And I propped the guitar against the drum riser and it was the Rising Sun seven string guitar. And as soon as our drummer hit the kick drum, it went forward and the headstock snapped off and I played the rest of the, the tour with that guitar with the old strings with the headstock broken off. And first full song learned was Big Me by the Foo Fighters. First riff I think was Rock Lobster by the B-52s. First riff written would have been the Trivium song Pain that's now out on our reissue of our first record. So it was like a super old demo for when I was like 13 or 14. Last riff written probably would have been one of my guitar solos off the new record. I think it might have been, it's going to be an unreleased song, so it'll be a song that's going to come out way after the record that no one knows about yet, but it's a song called Drowning in the Sound. So I think it was the solo for that song. That was the last riff written. Proudest riff. Right now it'd probably be the middle section of the song Sever the Hand off the new record. It was something that was kind of inspired by, we were being inspired by the show the Leftovers and the show Westworld, like they're two themes and it helped spark this weird classical music part that's the middle section of Sever the Hand. Favorite guitarist, Jason Becker. Good riff for beginner would probably be Song Dying in Your Arms by Trivium off of Senancy. <laughs>